The lawyer of Donald Trump, Alina Abba, appeared on Maria Bartiromo's show on Sunday. And I want to show this to you. It's interesting. She gets asked about the grift, the Trump grift of getting not that language, of course. Maria Bartiromo would not use that language to describe what Trump's doing. I'm using that language to raise a bunch of money from your followers for your campaign, but then spend it on your defense against being held accountable. So he's spending their money because of his potential violations of the law, which is a strange reality, especially when he's supposed to be super wealthy. And so her answer was just as strange as the context of the question. Alina, let me get your take on the money being spent here on legal fees. Did you hear what Congressman Byron Donalds just said? He said that he believes the strategy of the Department of Justice is to bleed Trump dry, to bring so much legal issue and problems to Trump uh, that he has to spend all of this money on legal fees. You are the general counsel of his super PAC. Uh, the Wall Street Journal is reporting that the political committee has spent more than $40 million this year on legal fees as he and a constellation of advisors have been swept into these various investigations. How much has it been and how are you directing the money in terms of paying for legal fees? Tens and tens of millions of dollars. And I do think that that is part of the strategy. It is incredible. They have brought in people like myself who have nothing to do with these cases. I was not part of the administration just so that lawyers have to get lawyers and these lawyers cost money. And when you take a broad net and you try and intimidate anybody who is part of his circle, whether I couldn't even say inner circle, Maria, it's gone further than that. You know, the valet at Mar-a-Lago, uh, the chefs, the what? Is it really Jack Smith's fault that Trump potentially implicated so many other people in his crimes? Ever. It's crazy. And it is on purpose. Nothing they do is not intentional. It's calculated. And it is to make him bleed. The problem is that President Trump is independently wealthy as well, and they forget that. And he has said at rallies, I will do whatever it takes. If it means I have to spend my own money, I will. He is very protective and kind and generous. And at the end of the day, they're going to try and take him down financially. And that's just frankly not a good angle. I don't know if they've seen, uh, you know, his wealth. So a little bit confusing there. Very confusing. She's having a hard time explaining away the the grift, I guess, because as the Wall Street Journal reports, Donald Trump's political uh, political committee has spent more than $40 million this year on legal fees as he and a constellation of advisors have been swept into various investigations, people familiar with the situation said, $40 million from his political committee. So why is he spending campaign cash on his legal fees if he's so wealthy? He's spending other people's money who are donating to his campaign for president to defend himself in legal matters. Which, what? And then they say that the strategy is to bleed him dry or whatever, and they're trying to make him spend all of his campaign cash so he can't run for president. But if he's actually as wealthy as you say, and he is a wealthy guy regardless of the specifics, then he would just spend his own money on his own legal problems and then campaign money on his campaign problems. It's his fault for spending his campaign money because he's so cheap on his own legal troubles. And the fact that then people continue donating to him is stunning. Again, look at that figure, $40 million in legal fees spent by his political committee, not his own bank account, not his own independent wealth, his political committee. That is a bunch of MAGA people and big dollar donors, but also individual MAGA people's money. And then they think he's the victim. He's squeezing you guys dry. He's bleeding y'all dry for his legal troubles. It's just, uh, it makes me so sad, but also at this point, it's kind of on you for still donating, but I still feel bad because people are being manipulated into these beliefs, but also you shouldn't believe these things. It's so wild that after all this, all the grifts, all the lies, all the scams, people still trust Trump and then he uses their money to try to get out of his own accountability. My goodness. Next moment from this interview. Oh, 
are you expecting an indictment in the coming two or three weeks from Georgia? Yes, I think that it's been highly spoken about. I think if you look at the barricades, the fact that she's got her PR team doing fresh pictures for her, it's a good indicator that uh, Fannie wants her moment and um, she will she will get on the bandwagon with the rest of the, the corrupt DAs and AGs that we've seen out of this country. Address the evidence. It's all about the people. Attack the people. Attack the people. Don't address the evidence. Explain why the allegations or potential allegations in the Fannie Willis case, but especially those that are already in indictments, why they're not legitimate. That's what I want to hear, Alina Abba. But instead, it's Jack Smith is deranged and Fannie Willis just wants her moment and etc. But indeed, it seems could be this week, likely this week, Fannie Willis will be bringing more charges against Donald Trump, this time state charges out of Georgia. And so he'll be experiencing his fourth, fourth indictment once again on attempts to overturn the 2020 election results, but specifically in the state of Georgia. Wild moment for sure. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show hours before all the clips are able to be uploaded to the YouTube channel, plus get the bonus show on the weekends. You can do so by going to lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership. That's lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership. And there's a link in the description.